Oh, don't be horrid, Henry. You're going to Aunt Ruby's whether you like it or not. I am not spending the weekend at Stock Up Steve's. No way! Are you upset because Mum and Dad are going away, Henry? Get lost, worm! Henry! Well, it's all right for him. He's going to Tidy Ted's. Oh, yes. We're going to play Cowboys and Cleaners. You'll have a great time with Steve. But he's so stuck up. He never lets me play with his toys. You don't let him play with your toys, so what do you expect? Just be nice to him for two days, please. We'll be back to collect you on Sunday. No! Let me go! Get your hands off me! <laughs> Thanks for having him! Be good, Henry! That's a very nice second-hand jumper you're wearing. At least it's not green like yours. This isn't green. Mum, he's got a goo shooter. Give me that. While you're a guest in my house, you will behave yourself. I won't put up with any mischief. Ow! Get it off! Get it off! I don't know how that got in there. Sorry, Aunt Ruby. Show him to his room. I've put all my toys in my room, and you're not allowed to touch them. You're up here, in the attic. <laughs> You're scared of the dark. Of course not. Good, because this room is haunted. <laughs> It'll take more than a silly ghost to scare me. I love ghosts. Ah! You see that stain? That's where the ghost vaporized. <laughs> Pah! Of course, if you're too scared to sleep here. Maybe the ghost will let me play with his toys. You better hope so, because up here, no one will hear you scream. <laughs> I'm Henry. Am I scared? Night like this, when the ghost first appeared. Uh, you mean this really is a haunted house? Oh, don't be silly, Steve. That's just a story. We've never seen the ghost ourselves. Ah! Oh dear, not another power cut. Spooky, eh? Go on, Mum. Tell him the story. Legend has it that the house was built by a rich old man to hoard his gold. He had dozens of servants waiting on him, hand and foot. But he was scared they would steal his gold. So one night, he sneaked out and buried it in the wood. He built secret passages in the house so the servants wouldn't see him creeping out at night to check on his gold. But one night, it was so dark, he couldn't see where he was going. And he stumbled into the well and drowned. It's his ghost that wanders the house, searching for his gold. Ah! 
Yeah, well, serves him right. With all that money, he should have bought a torch. That's enough silly stories. It's time you boys went to bed. Everybody knows there's no such thing as ghosts. There's something in the wardrobe. Just waiting to get me. Don't be a scaredy cat, Henry. You're not afraid of anything. Except injections. And ghosts! Let me out! Let me out! That rat locked me in! Hang on a minute. I'm King Henry the Horrible. I'm not afraid of anything. Steve, just you wait. Revenge will be mine. <laughs> Morning, Henry. Did you sleep well? Very well, thank you. After breakfast, why don't you two go outside to play? Oh, that'll be fun, Aunt Ruby. We'll see about that. Whoa! It's mine! <laughs> Look out! <laughs> Today. Oh, yes, Aunt Ruby. It was well good. No pudding for me, thanks, Aunt Ruby. I'm going to bed. <gasps> no pudding? All that playing has tired me out. Good night, Steve. Oh. <laughs> See you in the morning. Good night, Aunt Ruby. Darling. Dooby 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 doo. Dooby 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 doo. Dooby dooby doo. Dooby dooby doo. Dooby 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 doo. Is somebody there? <laughs> Mommy. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby, help! Monsters! <laughs> huh? Hello? No such thing as monsters. It's only me. Now, what shall I play with first? <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, fabulous flower with petals so pinky could never be said to be stinky. So strong towards the sun you'll grow unless we have unseasonal snow. Quiet, smelly nappy baby. Some of us are trying to sleep. You know what they say, Henry. The early bird catches the worm. You're the worm, worm, and I'm the bird. So if you don't stop that stupid poetry right now, I'll be coming down and catching you. But I'm just trying to... No poetry. Poetry should be banned. Stop it now! But it's not poetry! No singing, no poetry, no words, nothing! But your lips are moving! <laughs> nothing! To me, droopy pants. And what's that? It's my new plant. Woohoo! Miss Lovely gave it to me. Why? We're making our plants grow up to be happy plants by playing music and singing to them. <laughs> what's that for? Feeding time. Growing plants need to be fed regularly. So what are you feeding it? I have some very nutritious plant food. <laughs> but what if it wants a sandwich? Well, I'm not reading you poetry. Hey, would you like to see the latest issue of Kung Fu Cockroach? Want one? Ah, we need music. Time. <gasps> what are you doing? I think your plant likes me. Of course it does. You've got the same IQ. Get lost, party features. Oh, look. Henry's finally got a friend. Just a pity it's a vegetable. <laughs> Actually, it's not a vegetable. Its Latin name is... Oh, up early, boys. Henry, housework today, remember? The Hoover won't run itself. <gasps> he doesn't write poetry. He? <sighs> if I had a plant, I'd teach it to eat rubbish so I'd never have to clean up ever again. Did you ring the bell? Brilliant! Wait here a minute. Wow, that plant can move by itself. Henry, you can't have finished already. All right, all right. Oh, this is exhausting. and his stupid plant waking me up so early. <sighs> it's for me! We've come to see your plant. How's it doing? Ta-da! It's lovely! How do you get it to grow so big? Regular nutritious food. And I've been reading it poetry. Ooh, yes! yes. It especially likes sardines. Are you going to play a game, boys? Oh, yes! What a super idea! What shall we play? Sardines, of course! <laughs> How lovely! Shall I take your plant up to your room, Peter? Yes, please, Mum. Sam and I will count. Gordon, you hide. Oh, goody! One... I wonder if they're in here. Hey, 
some of us are napping. Have you seen Gordon or Sam anywhere? No, I was asleep, Fungus Head. All I've seen was the inside of my eyelids. I was asleep! But out! Aha! I bet they're in here. Nope, not in here. And don't worry, I haven't forgotten about you, my little friend. It must be nearly feeding time. He watches, but you've just been fed. Ah! Eat radioactive fist, miscreant. <laughs> Taste the full force of my radioactive bile, monster. Yeah, get him, you smart. this lurking behind, Mutant Max? What dreadful horror has Dr. Fowl cooked up this time? Mutant Max primes his gauntlets of goo, unsuspecting as the evil horror creeps up behind him. Closer and closer and closer. Look behind you, Mutant Max! Behind you! Could this be the end of Mutant Max? Oh, that's stupid! There's no way Max wouldn't have seen that! That's not my stomach. Ah! What are you doing? You, you don't want to eat me. I'm oh, your friend. I made you cool music. Remember the comics and the script. Let it be. Oh, you don't want to eat me. Oh, I'll taste horrible. Oh, and I've got smelly socks. Oh, Mom! Mom! Henry, are you okay? Mom? Oh, you were having a bad dream. Yeah, yeah, I was. Oh, never mind. I've bought you a little present, Henry. You did? Yes. I've bought you, ta-da, a plant of your own. <laughs> 